Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Faust with Kajin Cosplay. And today we're playing with you guys with... Kajin Cosplay. Episode 13 <laughs> of season 2. <laughs> Last episode was a funny episode where we said goodbye to the president of the student council. I don't know yeah, if she's yeah, going to she... be back in an episode, but she looks gone. She seemed so... happy by the end of it, so... Yeah. There was a, a cute little moment between Shirley and uh, Lelouch where she basically said... Well, she proved that she knows when Lelouch is not being himself. She really knows that persona. You know, out of the three he's got, she really knows that one. <laughs> and uh, it looked cute. Like, she kind of she mentioned that she was going to work hard for Lelouch to eventually love her. Uh, and Lelouch didn't seem to be unfazed. So, possibility for a future between the two? Maybe not, because at the end of the episode... She remembered everything. Fuck. Uh, and not only that, but the only reason she remembered everything was because uh, Orenji is back and he's got a Gius that cancels all other Giuses. Yeah. So, um, what's the purpose of it? Because he's working with V2 and I assume that V2 was working with the Emperor and I'm like, they mentioned, you know, taking away the Gius from everyone in school. So I'm like, what do you want to erase what the emperor did? Get everyone now, everyone their memory back. I have no idea what's the plan with Orangi, but I'm excited. I'm kind of scared of how Shirley's gonna react. But uh, yeah, well, if I remember the first time, she almost got killed, and she was so distraught that Lulu didn't have any choice to just take away her memories. She freaked out. So I'm pretty much expecting the same thing this time. Okay, so we're really, we're getting really close to the end of this story. I'm excited. Apparently it gets intense from mm -hmm. now on. So let's jump in this episode and see what they have in store for us. All right. Sorry about the AC in the background, by the way. I know it's you can hear hot it. hot as hell. It's like 33 degrees Celsius here today with the uh, humidex factor. So really hot. Sorry about that. Let's go. <laughs> And shocked than sad. We were expecting it with Yuffie because of the Gias when he ordered to kill all the Japanese. He didn't have any choice. With back Yuffie, then. yeah, with Yuffie it came as a hard truth that we had to accept. I think oh I'm, my God. I don't know, I'm just, I'm more in shock. Like, I'm really sad, it's true. Like, I didn't want her to leave. She wasn't my favorite character, but especially this episode, after everything, after she remembered what happened, she still chose, like, all the masks fell off. Suzaku's mask fell and she saw that there was a feud, but she also saw deeper than that. Like, he couldn't say he hated Lelouch, he can forgive him, but, well, he won't allow himself to forgive him, but he still loves him. He can't say otherwise. Lelouch's mask fell off and she saw Zero. She still loved him. He, he stopped her from falling. He, she saw... She saw who he truly was, who he tried to be, and what he, what he has been doing, and she still loved him. And that's... It was true, like it was real. And then Rolo's mask fell off, and we know that there is the caring brother side, but there is also the obsessed brother side, the one that will let no one love Lelouch as much as he does, or let him, you know, let Lelouch have his sister back, because if he gets Nanali back, he won't need There's Rolo no anymore. There's no place for anymore, that's right. Oh. I used to have faith that maybe the good figure something something out with Rolo with Rolo and they could be a, a big asset and a big ally but damn you mm. need to go down dude not you anymore need to yeah. go down we already knew that Lelouch was sort of manipulating him because he need he needed him on his side if he ever but learns that he, he's he the one who killed Shirley he was manipulating him for sure but I thought that maybe after time since they were kind of working together. It's yeah, like, it's yeah. like the other members of the Black Knights. I was also on Rolo's side, sort of. I was. I didn't want Lelouch to manipulate his feelings like that, and I kind of wish that eventually they could become actual friends, or even he could consider him as an actual brother, or even just, you know, forget about manipulation and just truly let him in. After this, 
fuck that man fuck that he needs to go down like this is too intense and what oh, is he gonna do with Nanali if he ever finds her you know this is gonna be the same shit all over again I, I actually hope that Lelouch L learns Lelouch is for Rolo the first person to actually consider him as a human being with his own identity and sorry. keep sorry. going sorry. You had like <laughs> sorry and to know that surely might be someone else who can bring Lelouch happiness and comfort and not even that I think it was more even more than that she her only goal was to help him reunite with Nanali and have his dream and stuff so I think her loving him was already like disturbing to him but he's got a lot of people that love him around you know and they help him but it's the fact that she wanted to reunite him with Nanali and give him what he truly wanted which is not Rolo that's what I think made him lose his mind oh my god that was just so sad with Lelouch ordering everybody's guests to don't die, which would kind of work if she wasn't fatally wounded. Like she wouldn't give up. You but cannot order the blood to just not go away. That's that's the thing. And uh, but holy shit, he cried and everything. And like you know, we can we can argue several times in this show if Lelouch truly has feelings for the people around him. He has you know he's he's got so many masks. It's hard to know which one is the real one um, um but yeah, well when he's with Nunnally I know he's being true to his feelings and stuff we know he cares but when he's with everyone else we never really know until he does something like this you know something that is not calculated something that is not like a strategy or something when he loses his shit this is when we know that Ludwig is being true like when he forced himself to call well, we know when he reacted with Suzaku when they were uh forced to stay together and there was the missile coming and in order stuff. to uh, to live yeah out of every order he could have given his best friend he did he gave him that one that's to me proof that he truly loves his friend when it comes to Shirley it's the same thing she's dying he can control himself anymore he starts crying and what he tries to do is stay alive you know he knows logically it's not gonna work but he's still gonna try to do it so when Lelouch loses his composure that's when I know we see the actual Lelouch this one it's I so feel like freaking. it was really really fucking sad that scream you did at the end too um, oh. you know that the only reason why she went back because she didn't want him to be alone anymore I know everything. because she understood that to all of this all he was attending to do with uh, the Japanese and uh, the Britannia is was alone he has taken on a path that will force him to sadly be alone in the end because we know that Nanali doesn't really approve with what he's doing uh, what he had to do when it comes to Yuffie has uh, you know taking him away from Suzaku every friend he has don't really know who he truly is and he can't really tell them because they're Britannians and we don't know if they're gonna accept him being Zero and when they do know sometimes we, we know like for Rolo for example he loves them but he has to manipulate him into well Lelouch has to manipulate Rolo who loves Lelouch but you know that Lelouch can yeah. get close to him the path he's chosen for himself is a very lonely path and when he we, we know because he's talked about this several times if he lets people in he ends up losing them and this is exactly what happened Whew. okay orangey now that guy surprised me here I what's going on with Lady Marianne there is a lot to learn about There is a lot that we don't know about her yet. There is. I mean, I'm surprised that Jer that Jeremiah, I'm going to call him Orangey. When when Orangey switched <laughs> sides like this, it's crazy because since episode the first few episodes, he's always been on the path for revenge and stuff. You know, he's yeah. always been trying to defeat Lelouch because Lelouch has destroyed his reputation. But then something happened to him with V2. They, they changed him. They put him on, they put him on this path to learn that he was deeply in love with the idea of Lady Mar Marianne and he, wa he wanted to fulfill her dreams and her hopes and he wanted to follow her. Of course, knowing that Lelouch is her son and what he's doing, you know, becoming Zero was basically to undo what's been done with her death, give Nunnally a future. That's that's gonna convince him to switch sides. It came out sort of out of the blue with him, I gotta say, but I'm not gonna complain because he's a very powerful guy now. 
and they need the power. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, alright, I mean, I'm just gonna accept it and move on. I don't remember how many times I say how convenient it is during the episode, but it's true that Lelouch wanted to try something for his future plan. So, yeah, that was really convenient that Orangey came by so he could test it out. And that his new, his new uh, a body would be affected by that too. But and, you know, sometimes you gotta, really gotta do it what you gotta do. It's okay, yeah. convenience make also for great great stories, it doesn't really matter. Do you think that maybe Saku will for for oh, the, because Shirley is dead now? That is the other thing I wanted to talk about. The entire conversation with Shirley and the fact that also, you know, even though they, they are fighting right now, Lelouch threw himself over the rail to get to Shirley and he, he, we didn't hear them talk or anything. He trusted Suzaku to catch him. Of course he would catch Shirley, but he also trusted him to just catch him. They didn't have to talk, they just did. They acted. And then the conversation with Shirley where she was basically asking him, Do you love Lelouch? He never said otherwise. What he said was, I can forgive him. And she was like, you can, we won't. Yeah, she did. And she knows that Suzaku knows that her father is dead because of Zero. He's been putting so, all his grief on on this this hate path. They need for to Lelouch. talk. I know because open com communication, please. But the thing is, we've talked about this before. We know that Lelouch has basically accepted Yuffie's death as his own responsibility. You know, he's basically saying, "I could argue the case. Like I could be telling you." You know what? I did not want her to do that. I'm losing control of my gears. This is what happened. But that's just excuses. In the end, he is still the one that made her kill all these these Japanese people. So, and he's the one that basically took upon himself to stop her because it was his responsibility. Since he's the one who sent her on that path. If it wasn't for his gears, it wouldn't have happened. A lot of people, you know, sometimes you, you're you're telling people it's not your fault because a lot of stuff comes into into play in these situations. But Luch is trying to be more stronger than that. You know, he's being he's trying to be stronger than all of that, and he doesn't want compassion. I feel like it, he needs that slash that slap of reality when it comes to his power and what he can do. So I don't think even if they talk, he's gonna tell. Suzaku what happened and it really comes down to Suzaku understanding that something was done a mistake was made and he had Lelouch had to act because if he knows his friend he won't even ask him did you order Yuffie to kill the Japanese he will know deep down that Lelouch would never do that so I think if he, if he stops hating him that much and thinks he can maybe find even if even if he doesn't know that it was an accident. He can find it in himself to forgive Lelouch and move on. Know that what Lelouch is doing is for the good of the people. So, do something. I don't know. But I saw hope. I saw hope and I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. A lot of emotions for you this episode. <laughs> I'm surprised I, I wasn't more affected than that. I think I was, like I said, more in shock. I think uh, it was just so sad to see Lelouch trying so hard to just do something and he couldn't i know i know he's always he so in control from the beginning usually he, he always can find a solution to his problem to come on top of everything but he, right now he just couldn't and it's sad i don't know how he's gonna react next episode <laughs> we'll have to wait and see i guess but okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it's going to be on Patreon soon. Check it out. The link is in the description. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch it now, guys. And if not, wait for the next one to be out on YouTube next week. Yes. So see you then, guys. Bye.